Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about logical and comparison operators. These are like the magic that makes expressions useful inside of if statements and loops and all that good stuff. So definitely make sure you pay attention and got this stuff down. Before you get started, check out our sponsor, Embarcadero's Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy it to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. Now let's get started. So we're gonna create basically a stupid game where <laughs> you have to guess my name. So what we're gonna do is first we need to include string because we're gonna store it in a string. So um, you always have to make sure you include the important stuff. We're also going to include IO stream and make sure you type very badly like me. All right, there we go. That should be all the includes we need. And we're gonna say string name, we're gonna set that equal to Caleb. And actually, since this is going to be a guessing game, we're going to make this the answer. And you have to guess it. So what's this going to look like? Well, we're going to create another string, and this is going to be the guess. And we're going to get that from user input and store that in guess. But they definitely need to know what they're being asked for. So you could say something like standard C out guess my name like so now they'll guess the they'll guess the name and then that'll get stored in guess and then we can do a comparison to see if they are right so we'll, we will get to logical operators and comparison operators here soon just give me a minute <laughs> we got to build out this application here so now let's see out and say that they got it right so the first comparison operator we're going to talk about is the equals operator so if you say guess and then two equal signs answer this is the comparison operator. This will return true if both of the operands have the same value. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna compile this. See if we got any errors, nope. Run this thing, guess my name, we'll say Caleb, and it says you got it right. If you get it wrong for some reason, let me just run it again, guess my name, it does not say that. So that is your first comparison operator, the equals operator, very simple. Now I wanna talk a little bit about logical operators and we'll get back to the comparison operators in just a minute, but I wanna make this, com this application a little bit more complex. So not only do you have to guess my name, but you also have to guess my age. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say int age answer and set that equal to mm, 63. Yeah, I'm a little old. And then we're going to basically do the same exact thing. So we're going to do an output. Guess my age. And we're going to store that inside of a new variable, which is going to be called, it's gonna be an integer, and we're going to call it age guess. So this is gonna be stored in age guess. Now, the way logical operators work is they allow you to do multiple comparisons inside of one expression. So, Let's say you have to get both of these right. You can use the and logical operator. So we could say guess is equal to answer, and then we could say age guess is equal to age answer. So now you have to get them both right. So let's run this, make sure I got everything set up correctly. Guess my name, Caleb. Guess my age, 63, and it says you got it right. So this and operator, what it's going to do is it's going to evaluate both of these. So if this is true and this is true, then this will be outputted. So both of them have to be true. Another operator that is a logical operator is known as the OR operator. And it's two pipe symbols, which is right above the enter key on your computer, on your keyboard. And now this is only going to require one of these to be true. So either you could get the name correct or you could get the age correct. So just to show this in action, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wrong name and then I'm going to get the right age, 63. And you can see you got it right. But if we get them both wrong, you can see nothing happens. So those are the two primary logical operators that you need to know about. There's actually one more that you should know about and that is the not operator. And that's going to basically invert, either take something true and make it false, 
or take something false and make it true. It's going to invert whatever the truth value of something is. So let's say, for example, you have to guess any name except dun 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 Claire. So how would we do that? Well, we find this is the one for the name. So maybe we want to make our variables a little bit more clear. Let's let's call this name answer and name underscore guess. I'm gonna store that in name underscore guess. Okay, just for our, our various variables to be a little bit more clear here. It should be the same exact thing. And if we want to make it to where you have to guess any name except Claire, you can put this entire expression inside a parentheses and prefix it with an exclamation mark. So this is the not operator. And what this does is it's going to negate the truth value. So right now, if you guess Claire, this is going to evaluate to true, but it's going to be inverted to be false, which is going to be good. So originally the name had to be exactly the same in order for this to be true, but since we put that exclamation mark, it has to be anything but that name. So it'll basically flip the truth value there. So let's just do that by itself just to make it really crystal clear. Now let's do a compilation and a run. All right, guess my name. If I say Claire, put anything for the age there, you can see that you got it right was not printed, so this actually evaluated to false. So that means we can put any single name that's not Claire and it'll be evaluated to true. So let's just do a run of this thing and we'll just put Caleb, any age we want, and you can see we got it right. <laughs> so that is how you can be very selective on names and guessings. So that is how you can be very selective. You have the or operator, the and operator, and the not operator. This not operator can make a little bit of sense if you know how to read it inside of English. So this is basically going to be read if the name guess is not equal to the name answer. That is how you would read this. But there's actually a clearer way you could put this. And if you actually get rid of this exclamation mark and put it as the first equal sign here, you have not equal to. And that is another comparison operator it works exactly the same way. And it's very simple. So when we do a compiling and run, it should work exactly the same way. So as long as the name guess is not the name answer, then we should be good. So we could put anything in here and we'll be right. John. And you see we got it right. Okay, so lots of information. It's kind of hard to see it all when we're going through all these stupid examples. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write down the possibilities. So inside of a comment section down here, we're going to go over the logical operators first. So we have and, or, and not. And then for the comparison operators, we have equal to, not equal to, less than, equal to, and then we have less than, or equal to and greater than or equal to. So here are all the operators you need to understand. The logical operators allow us to make expressions that are complex, multiple comparisons, as well as negate things. Comparison operators allow us to compare things as well as see if things are not equal, see if things are less than each other or less than or equal to each other, greater than or greater than or equal to each other. So those are the comparison and logical operators. Make sure you get some practice with those. See what kind of cool applications you can make and leave them in the comments section below. Now, one more example I wanted to go through. First thing I want to show you guys is that these parentheses are not necessary anymore. So you can just leave it as that. That works just fine. An alternative to logical operators is actually nested if statements. So for example, let's say we have to guess the name and the name is Caleb. And we have to guess the age. Well, what we could do is we can actually make another if statement inside of here, if you would prefer, and say if, and put the result right here. And then inside of this if, you could say if age guess is equal to age answer. This should work exactly the same way. So we can run, give it a try. Guess my name, Caleb, guess my age. I think it was uh, 63. And it says you got it right. So that is an alternative way if you want to visually see how these things are getting evaluated. That is how you would do the AND operation. So this has to be true, and this has to be true. If you wanted to do the OR operation in this manner, what you would actually do is use an ELSE IF, and then inside of here we would put this expression. So cut and paste that here. And then this result needs to be on both of these options. So we're going to copy that. So one of them is going to go here, and the other one is going to go inside of here. 
So now if either of these are true, this will be executed. So definitely not as pretty because there's more code, there's some duplicate code. It's not the ideal solution, so I'd highly recommend you understand the logical operators. So that's all, I got, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be talking about, I think we're going to be talking about switch statements. So that's going to be boring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys there.